but the radar matches up. We'll talk about that, but on our floor map, let's point out where we're talking about here in Sonoma County. So it is to the west of 101, which runs through the length of the Petaluma River Valley, to the west northwest of Petaluma itself, near Two Rock, which is in some of the higher elevations to the west of Highway 101. And it was a brief tornado touchdown, but it's exceptional because it's the first in Sonoma County since 2011. And if I'm checking the records correctly, the first in any part of the Bay Area since 2011, so well over 10 years. Let's take a look at what we have on radar right now. And we'll zoom in for a closer look at where that tornado occurred. We have scattered showers on the radar at the moment, including some that are wetting down the roads for the tail end of the evening commute. But zooming in to that portion of Sonoma County where the brief tornado did occur, again, just to the southeast of Turok, which is to the southwest of Roner Park to the northwest of Petaluma. We can wind the clock backwards, though, and take a look at what the radar looked like at 11 o'clock this morning when that tornado touched down. And this is the area right here. I'm going to add some arrows to clarify things. That red and green were in velocity mode on the radar. I can see which way the raindrops are moving. That's why it's Doppler radar. So we're looking at the red area where the raindrops are moving away from the radar site, which is in Davis, and the green area where the raindrops are moving towards. That is that center of circulation right there. So how did this happen today? Well, it's because the way the winds were aligned in the atmosphere. The winds at surface level and the winds farther up in the atmosphere moving at two different speeds. So that gets the air turning over horizontally. That's not rare. That happens all the time. What's different today is that we had showers that actually grew into thunderstorms. There was instability in the atmosphere around the Bay Area. And so as those thunderstorms grew, the updraft of the growing clouds takes that horizontal circulation and tilts it into a vertical circulation. As that vertical circulation gets more well established and reaches down closer and closer to ground level, first you get a funnel cloud. And if it reaches all the way down to ground level, an actual tornado touches down briefly in this case, only about 60 seconds or so. 